Week 7, The Face in Our Stars Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn sign stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what is constellation? Number two, what are the different types of constellation according to location and seasons? And number three, how does constellation help the people? What is constellation? Are you familiar with the graphics? Can you say something about it? The two graphics show the animated representation of constellations that can be seen in the night sky. What is constellations? Constellations, it is a group of stars that form a specific pattern. There are 88 constellations in our sky. Ancient astronomers study stars in the night sky thousands of years ago. They noticed different images such as objects, animals, and Roman and Greek mythology heroes being formed through the stars. What are the different types of constellation according to location and seasons? People near the North Pole can see constellations that are to the north of the Earth or Northern Hemisphere, while those living near the South Pole can see constellations that are to the South or Southern Hemisphere. These are seasonal constellations. There are also constellations that are visible all year long. These are circumpolar constellations. Here are the list of constellations that can be seen in different hemispheres and in different seasons. Constellations visible in the Northern Hemisphere. During winter, we have Orion, Gemini, and Taurus. During spring, we have Leo and Virgo. During summer, we have Scorpius, Sagittarius, and Cygnus. And during fall, we have Pegasus and Pisces. For constellations visible in the Southern Hemisphere, during winter, we have Lyra, Scorpius, and Cygnus. During spring, we have Andromeda and Pegasus. During summer, we have Dorado, Orion, and Taurus. And during fall, we have Hydra and Leo. The five northern circumpolar constellations are Cassiopeia, Cepheus, Draco, Ursa Major, and Ursa Minor. We also have the three southern circumpolar constellations, which are Carina, Centaurus, and Crux. How does the constellations help the people? Constellations help people in many ways. They can measure and tell seasons. As Earth moves, seasons change. The constellations that we see change too. They also tell general directions such as Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, and Cassiopeia that are used by navigators to tell north direction. The Southern Cross or the Crux tells the south sky. Constellations are also used by astronomers to locate stars, nebula, and galaxies. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.